<sighs> Welcome to ckkmobile.com. This time not from warm Las Vegas, it's cold Finland. Minus 20 Celsius here, icy, cold. It's it's cold, just cold. But hey, stuff still happens outside CES, so let's go inside to check what's up now. Yep, plenty of things happening uh, after CES 2 and one of the things is the Arcos 5. It got the upgrade for 1.6, Android 1.6 now on the Arcos 5 and uh, I want to show you what's different and uh, of course there's good things, bad things and uh, then after those we will do some hacking. So let's see a bit closer and let's play, play a bit with the Arcos 5. So, what's so different now? The first thing you will notice is that uh, uh, the, as, as the native support for the resolution is now there, some stuff and fonts looks a bit different. Uh, everything on the system level looks a bit more, uh, let's say, uh, uh, soft. Uh, fonts and everything are a bit softer. Let's go to Twitter, you can see what I mean. So. So the fonts are really soft, so they are not as a native resolution or I don't know how to describe that, but but everything looks softer. Also, also uh, browser is now of course a bit newer, so differences here and there. The browser zoom behaves a bit differently. I'm not sure if I like it yet or not, but uh, it sure works differently. Also minor differences on YouTube playback, it didn't play my videos that nicely, let's see, because I'm using high, co high quality resolution but not HD. Let's play YouTube video from my side. Here we go, so slight differences there, it's now working nicely on, on Arcus Player 2. And uh, the YouTube, opening the YouTube app is pretty fast, so not that much waiting anymore. Hello and welcome to jkmobile.com. So as you can see the playback is pretty good now. Uh, on, on and off I'm really like thinking if the new browser Zoom uh, is better or, or worse, because now it's, you have only options uh, to have the zoom, default zoom, uh, far or medium or close. I'm not sure if I like that. Also you can play with text size but uh, if you go to small small or large it's in some pages it's, it's not looking, looking that good. But everything works, that's the best thing of course, but still a bit softer look overall the fonts. Uh, one new thing is the search gadget. Now when you press and hold the uh, menu button you get to the search and now it's uh, system-wide so you can search addresses, you can search uh, contacts, you can search whatever. So that's a good thing. But you can also use the widget so clicking that brings you the same thing so that works nice. Second little thing on the widget side you get the widget for for uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, synchronization and brightness. That's a nice thing. I don't really use it as I'm, I'm using the Curfis buttons over there. But still it's nice that they are doing doing uh, stuff like that. I believe the Arcus uh, media software is pretty much the same. Like I said, YouTube playback, some minor, minor bug fixes here and there on the on the, the playback modes, but still not that big deals. One thing you will lose is the Google stuff hack, so you have to redo if you want to do that. So you can see I have the Gmail and stuff here, here, but you will lose everything when you do the upgrade. If you if previous previous you had had any applications or hacks, you should do the full reset reset uh, when you do this uh, upgrade. Otherwise it, it will become really unstable. So do the full reset. Uh, 
and then easy easy going there is a market hack there is a full google software hack so i will have the links links at my site so if you're watching this on youtube check the link to my site on the on the right side and then jump to my site to to get all the goodies so so uh, there is plenty of hacks hacks uh, to get that stuff back and uh, there is a third hack which is uh, navigation hack turn by turn for the for the uh, Google Maps and uh, one other additional thing is that uh, now Google Maps is supporting uh, network location based uh, based uh, uh, based uh, what's that positive mean so that's a good thing but uh, but uh, navigation hack works of course this is not that great of the GPS device but it still works I filmed a little bit of video of it so let's jump to my car to check how that works I have the hacked maps over there and the navigation starter application over here so let's fire that up and I want to eat and I want to eat some Thai food so let's search Thai Thai food is good and healthy Okay, I want to go to that place. That's good. Okay, here we go. It's there. Let's drive a bit so you can see how it works. So it should also talk. It actually first time asked about the speed, speech synthesis software, but so so far I haven't heard it talk. So let's see if it if it talks now, but still, turn by turn, working. Nope, it seems not talking on the Arcos. I have no idea why, but it's not talking. But Navigation is working, and uh, I can also do. Uh, let's do layers. Let's do satellite view. Okay, the change wasn't that nice. Okay, now it's working. I don't know what happened there, but satellite view is the cool, cool feature, of course. Of uh okay, so as you could see, it worked, but uh, the problem with this one, of course, it's that it doesn't have 3G on it, so you have to either tether with a phone, and it doesn't really support that many phones. So Symbian, maybe some others are supported, but uh, not that many. So you have to have a Nokia phone, phone to actually use this. Even my Droid, which is also Android, just doesn't uh, work with this one, so I can't do that. I have a uh, Novatel MiFi, so I can connect with that, but uh, it still has the Wi-Fi problem where where connecting from base station to another makes you uh, <laughs> gray hair or something. It's it's not that easy to to connect from Wi-Fi back and forth, but it's many times you have to reset the connection to get it working again. But it worked, it works. You might have a better result than I do, but uh, still I don't see this as a, as a that mobile device. I see this more as a home appliance. So getting back to the uh, navigation hack, it's working fine here, but I just can't rely on the, that because the GPS, like I said, is not that good. Sometimes you have to wait the GPS lock for 5-10 minutes or something like that. Where on the Droid, I just have to show you how it works on Droid. Here I'm inside and I get GPS lock in, let's see, you can see it's flashing the GPS and when the flashing stops, it's there. GPS is locked. So let's do the same now with this one. It started flashing the GPS. 
And I have to say that I'm not gonna keep you waiting because it might take forever inside and even outside. Many many minutes. But I'm showing you just briefly that it's not like on the on the Troid. Not that good. Let's keep it there while I'm talking a bit. But good stuff still happening. Uh, with a with a market hack you can access the market with uh, uh, but only only free apps not paid apps and uh, all the Google stuff like uh, like Gmail uh, Google Talk Listen Maps and uh, contact synchronization everything works fine if you do do that hack and uh, I haven't seen any stability problems really so only uh, right now I've been playing about maybe 10 hours with uh, with with this build all these settings i have right now and uh, it's crashed once so that's okay also surfing i think it feels sometimes even a bit faster than it used to be uh, someone was saying that uh, it now supports fully the the n the wi-fi n features so that might be helping but uh, here we go on the gadget big site and it's nicely doing that so no problems whatsoever working fine so again still not liking the zoom functions but still good again the search box working fine UMPC portal and it's there it's it's nice to use you don't have to even have a have a link to stuff you can just use the search if you want Okay, uh, what else? When you do the installation, uh, the upgrade, if you're doing that, uh, it installs tens of different uh, Arcos uh, apps, so you can easily easily uninstall about 10 of those. But uh, from my side, the apps I'm currently using, the TubeTroid, of course, which, is, uh, which lets you download uh, YouTube stuff, uh, with the hack you get the YouTube player, I don't really use that. Then another thing is Task Killer, that's something I like, I can kill kill background stuff, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, I'm reading books with that, so I'm, I'm using the e-reader pro. So that's something, I don't like that software most, but uh, I like the fact that I can buy book books through that, so here I'm here is a Tom Clancy book I'm reading, so it's a nice, I think 5 inches really, really nice for reading. I'm using the 16, 16 pixels uh, settings on the, on the font, so I like it, like it a lot. What else? Google Listen for, for podcasting, podcasts and uh, that's pretty much it. Twitteroid for Twitter, but this is not, of course, my main Twitter thing. This is not a mobile thing. This is a home, home appliance, and Google Talk for chatting. So that's the main thing. But the upgrade, that's something I think you might want to do. Again, remember you have to start everything over. Your personal files will be there, but uh, everything else is gone when you do that, and you should do that. So jump to my site jkmobile.com to get the link to either just the market hack or the full Google hack or to uh, Maps hack. So you get the turn by turn navigation if, if you want to start playing with that. But I have to remind this is not a good GPS solution. Okay, that was all for now about the Argus 5. Testing more of course and using it every day, especially for reading, especially for some light surfing on the sofa and so on so bringing you more check mobile.com next time something else thank you bye